This video is going to discuss range bars. Our software has many different time frame data charts that you can bring up. Daily, weekly, monthly, intraday. Intraday consists of either time-based charts, like as you can see here, a 5-minute chart, or a 15-minute chart, or a 30-minute chart, or a 60-minute chart. You know, these are charts that each bar is made up of X number of minutes. You know, so a five minute chart, after a five minute bar is up, it starts a new one. We also have tick charts, which are based on a certain number of ticks and price changes per bar. And what's new is our range bars. Range bars basically show you X number of pips per bar. And what this means is after the market, say, moves six pips, it will create a new bar. Here's the same Euro dollar chart with six pips per bar. You just uh, put 6R here. It's going to download tick data and go through it and every time it opens and moves 6 pips that bar closes and then there's a new bar. As you can see if there's ever any kind of a gap uh, inside of a bar, uh, a bar can be more than 6 pips but the vast majority of each bar is 6 pips so you know it really gives you a lot clearer a view for getting into trends. Big news event, pullback, you get in, you get in, you get in. Uh, you know, counter trend traders who want like one, two, three uh, reversal patterns have this nice little reversal here, and you can see it fell about 35, 40 pips, uh, and you had many opportunities to catch it on the way up. So the first thing you probably are thinking to yourself is, how do I know how many pips per bar I should use? Well, we have multiple different tools that will help you. The first one is uh, we have a separate indicator which you can add to any time-based chart, 5-minute, 3-minute, 2-minute, 15-minute, hourly, whatever. Right-click, Chart Settings, Add Script, and then ADR. And what this does is it allows you to create a start time and stop time. I like to use 3 a.m. until 12. It's the most active time of the day. And you can click Add Script. And you can also add another one that uses the median. One shows the average uh, for each bar of the day. If you just wanted to look at from 7 to 8, if that's the only time you trade, you could scroll back and look and see how many uh, pips each of these bar uses and kind of find one that's in the middle. Or we've actually done it for you by showcasing you right on the right the average of each of these bars. It's 6.2 pips is the average and the median is 6.28 pips. Now if you don't want to have to mess around and have a separate chart up to figure out how many pips per bar We've also built in uh, this function into our hot list. You can simply right click on a quote sheet or hot list, add delete columns. I already have it on in this one, but it, you can find it over here like there's a two minute and a 60 minute I don't have on this one yet. And then click this button here and it will add it to your existing quote sheet or hot list. Uh, this is our FX total view, which is in the mentor students only directory. It's available for all of our mentor students. And it shows you how many pips each of these currencies moves on average uh, during a 5 minute bar, 15 minute bar, 30 and you, as you saw in there I have the 2 minute and the 60 minute as well. This column here shows you how many pips each of these currencies move per day. This is a 20 day average. Uh, the, the Swiss normally is less than 172 pips so that's based on that couple huge moves it made a few weeks ago and the Euro dollar is one of the more volatile ones, 163 pips per day during the active time, the average 30 minute number of pips it moves from high to low is about 16.3. 15 minutes it moves 11.3 and uh, 5 minute it moves 6.2. In order to not have more indicators than we need, I basically have taken the average and the median and averaged them together for these. And it's a good approximation and it saves time. So if you're trading and you wanted to uh, create um, a pound yen chart, if you like 5 minute bars, you might use either a 5 or 6 pips. If you like 15 minute bars, since this is right in the middle, you might try an 8 and 9, see which one you like better. So let's try that. First we'll go to pound yen, enter, and we'll try an 8 pip bar, and hit, hit 8R. And you can clearly see that when the market's not moving that much, uh, there's not too many bars. And when the market is moving, you have quite a few bars. Notice at the time 8.58 and 24 seconds, 8.59, you know, and so forth. You can see these are each half hour periods. Very few bars during this half hour and quite a few more, more bars during that one. And basically there's quite a few patterns you can use to trade these on. If you see the market going up, here's your first 
decent pullback, draw your trend line over the bars high and get in. Uh, and it also has quite a few good patterns that you can spot. Uh, pullback trades work anytime you have a four to five bar sideways rectangle pattern. Uh, I've found, in my opinion, it to be a very good uh, trade. You can see here, uh, it looks like the uptrend's over when the market fails to go back anywhere near the high. And so you have a nice little four bar rectangle pattern right here that pulls back 30 pips. Let's compare these side by side just so you get an idea of how much better in our opinion, uh, range bars are. What I'm going to do is click this circle here and make them both the same color. By making these both the same color and clicking on the toolbar right here, Demo Trade, I can scroll one of the bars back and it's going to line up what is the exact time in the previous one. And so the times are identical. And so with this does is allows me to scroll back and show you what the charts look like side by side. You can see this pullback right here uh, is a little clearer on this. Uh, you don't have quite the same rectangle breakout here. Uh, and notice the big wicks on this bar, whereas you have a lot more clarity here. Do you see uh, this little reversal pattern on the five minute chart? Absolutely not. Let's look at some of the other currencies just to uh, get a feel for it. Euro dollar, Euro dollar is about a six pips per bar chart to simulate a five minute. And notice this uptrend. Even before it happened, the market's kind of chopping around here, then boom, it explodes. Now you have two five minute bars on here versus one, two, three, four, five six, I mean, a ton of bars on this one. You have a nice little pullback right here, a uh, decent sized pullback that you could go long. Your stop we recommend is one to three pips underneath the swing low. And you can get into this on a very quick pullback, especially during super volatile times or news times with the tiniest of risk. This is less than a 10 pip risk during the highest volatility period uh, you can expect. And as these goes up, you can tighten your stop you know, underneath the swing low, and you might be out here at 68. In this chart right here, you don't really have any idea when to get out. If you wanted to get back into this trade, you can see it shoots up, and you might have got out right here as it starts to come down. Whereas on here, you only have three big five-minute bars. It's, it's not clear when to get out. Let's look at the Euro Yen. The Euro Yen moves on a five minute basis about six pips per bar. Let's look at this one during the breakout. Exploded up. If you wanted to buy this little pullback right here, you had a chance to make maybe five pips. This pullback right here, you have the chance to get into it when it breaks out again with your stop right underneath the low, risking just 10 pips. And if you got out uh, when it started to come back down, even giving back 10 pips right here if you got out at 70, you made 25 pips while risking 10. Now, where would you have got into that trade on a, on a regular five minute chart? It does not appear like there's any kind of a decent pullback whatsoever. Whereas on the range bar, in this case, six pips per bar, there's a beautiful entry. Another benefit of range bars is oftentimes it's very hard to know when to draw Fibonacci areas on fast moving markets like this. But on a range bar, you can simply draw your fibs from this level here, and if it does go higher, uh, that is a good area to possibly stall and reverse. In this case, it didn't get hit, but you'll be surprised to know how many times fib targets, which you would never even find those swings on a 5-minute or 15-minute chart, how they can allow you to precisely uh, find areas where the market you know, has natural resistance or support. Notice also the nice little trend line here uh, to give yourself an a idea that this is a reversal. You know, you don't even have an opportunity to have a trend line on that. And if you like to use trend lines like we do to find counter trend trades, notice you could have got into this uh, counter trend trade on the uh, Euro Yen 6 pips per bar chart while risking less than 10 pips. And this one comes down. Let's say you got out of it here when it started to go back up at 45. Let's say you, you got short at 70 instead of 75 like we would have. Uh, 
you know, you made um, about 30 pips on that trade while risking 6 to 10 pips. And that's the real key to trading. You know, on this little pullback here, do you see any kind of uh, a pullback area to get into? Maybe you would have uh, decided to get in short right here with your stop right above the high. You would have been stopped out. You lost 10 pips and it comes down again. Let's say you get short a little bit later and it comes down and goes sideways, comes down, shoots back up. Let's say you get out right here at 27. Short at 54, out at 27. Um, that's about a 27 pip profit. Subtract the 10 pips you lost in the first case and you made 17 pips. Whereas in this, you know, you don't, you may not have uh, got into this trade. Maybe you got into it if you're waiting for it to break the lows of the bar here or here. Um, and you don't quite know when to get out. Uh, here you have a little double bottom at the bottom, whereas you don't necessarily see that as much here. It just isn't quite as clear. 